All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. The main event here, and y'all know what time it is. It's tier list time. You always got to jump into the tier list when a new format drops and look at what Pokemon are available and how good they might be. Obviously, take all of this with a grain of salt. The format is very, very new. Um, you can play it on Showdown if you're not someone who's aware of that kind of thing. We're going to be tearing these Pokemon off, Pokemon off between S and D. Pause. Um, the tier list might jump around a bit while we're doing it. I'm doing this kind of like... Uh, without much prep work i kind of just wanted to give my raw reaction to most of the pokemon pause again uh but i do have a couple of things i wanted to talk about with certain specific pokemon so with that being said we're going to start off with uh Coridon. Coridon feels like one of the few restricted that's kind of head and shoulders above the rest um if you want to just look at its stuff real quick uh orihaku pulse right gives it the attack boost and sun sets sun on its own and then like the move collision course does super effective damage like extra super effective damage if that's if that's what i want to call it extra super effective um really great stat distribution no, nothing really in the special attack stat that's being wasted really good bulk defensive typing is a bit questionable but that's what you have terra for um great speeds here tied with flutter main <laughs> mariah gian pal so good, have fun good luck with that um and a pokemon that can kind of use multiple items right i think with pokemon with these restrictors i think their item slot is really important you obviously want to put Kalamon on this thing. However, because Ori Calcum Pulse gives you an attack boost and your collision course does extra super effective damage, you still kind of just plow through Incineroar with this thing regardless if it doesn't Terra. So you can run other items like Recovery, uh, maybe Roselli, but you probably don't need that because you're probably just going to Terra this thing anyway. Um, Assault Vest, Breaking Swipe is something you could do with this. It's really, really versatile and strong, like I said, and it enables other Pokemon because it sets up a Sun, but the Sun also enables itself. Terrifier Flame with the Sun is like one of the biggest damage drops I've ever seen in my life. It's actually pretty insane. So that was a clear S for me. Uh, Mariah is gonna be an S for the same reasons, just on the special side. Um, Electric, and they both have pivot moves. This one is U-turn, but this one has Volt Switch. So Volt Switch is obviously better. I think this one might be like more overwhelming offensively because you can have immunities. Um, there are more common immunities like Ground and Fairy to deal with this thing. Um, however, it has like fairy moves too. It has overheat. It has like a lot of great coverage moves. And like I said, Volt Switch is a really powerful, like Volt Switch does so much damage in electric terrain that it sets for itself. Plus it gets a special attack boost and then it switches out and runs away. So it's like, it's already pretty bulky as well. So it's like, I'll just show it to you guys since I'm here. I'll just show you like, it's a, uh, it's like in the stats, like yeah, bulky, uh, strong special attacker really fast. And it, it sets up its own terrain and enables other Pokemon. It's pretty insane. Uh, not enough said. Terrapagos is interesting. I'm going to be conservative with it and put it in B. I think it's normal timing as an advantage and a disadvantage because of all the strong ghost, the str strong ghost attacker <laughs> that we'll get to shortly. Um, but I think the issue is that it does need turns, right? It needs a lot of help um, to get going, which is fine. But I think when there are so many Pokemon that just kind of just get going immediately, then you're a little bit behind the eight ball, especially if someone can like remove your boost, like with Starl or something, right? Then it's like, oh, what are you going to do then? Um, and apparently Terra Stellar, at least on Showdown, when you Terra Stellar, you're still weak to fighting, which is not great <laughs> at all, um, because there's a lot of strong fighting moves in the game right now. Uh, Mewtwo, I'm so sorry, my boy, putting you down here because you stink. Uh, <laughs> I love you, but you suck. I feel like I need to put Lugia in the same tier. I'm going to put Lugia in C um, because of multi-skill stuff. But it's definitely worse Terrapagos at this point because <laughs> Terrapagos has a better version of multi scale because it makes the first hit not only reduce damage but also uh, resisted. No matter even if it's a super effective hit, which is kind of insane. Um, and it has more consistent damage output than this. It has like a Terra Terra Star Storm or yeah Terra Storm, and um, it has like Earth Power, which is like good coverage. Aeroblast is a nice move when it can miss. Uh, this is, I feel like this is better than Lugia. So maybe this is C and this is D. Because I think Ho-Oh was just better than Lugia in kind of like every way. Kyogre. I'm going to, I might move it depending on where other restrictors land. I'm going to start off in B. It's just so strong. But the problem is like, if you just like look at the list, right? Like the next, like let's just look at the next Pokemon we haven't even put on the tier list yet. Groudon sets Sun. Requires a resist. Dialga resist, Dialga resist, Dialga resist, Dialga resist. And then we go to the tier list. Resist, resist, resist and set Sun um like it's just not doing it's not plowing through things the way it used to be then it's like uh then there's like raging bolt now there's um ogre pond <laughs> ogre pond wellspring ogre pond grass all the ogre ponds essentially right that can kind of 
threaten Kyogre really, really, really immediately. Uh, I might move it up depending on how I score everything else, but I think that it's better than these. Um, it might even be better than this. It's not really an order chair list, but I'll move it up. The reason I'm putting it in B essentially because I think Groudon is at least A. Honestly, I I'm tempted to put Groudon up. The reason I'm tempted to put Groudon up is because just in practice, like Terra Fire, Groudon is actually like it, it gives you those haunting memories of primal Groudon. Like Terra Fire on this thing is so good because defensively it's so strong. And then like offensively, it gives you stab when either heat crash or fire punch and Groudon weighs a ton and it's in sun and it's so, it's it's so, and a clear amulet is like, this I, that item was made for Groudon. I don't care, no one says. Like that item was put in the game to help Groudon be good. And it just doesn't have that. Um, I think because it's similar to this, but this one has like the, um, this one is a little bit like slower in a sense and it doesn't get like the attack boost so it needs the clear amulet versus this one doesn't need it i think it might be a little bit better but the ground coverage and uh, electric immunity into Rhydon is wonderful um actually so a is fine if, if, if i had an a plus i'd probably put it there rayquaza i always pronounce that differently from time to time the problem with like with this right is that i don't think it's better than kyogre or this or maybe even as good but i do think it's better than the ones below so i kind of have to put it in b so consider this like a high B. Terra Normal E-Speed is still a good thing. And it's stronger than Dragonite, right? And it also has Dragon Ascent. So it has Stab Flying. So in that sense, it's kind of better than Dragonite because it has Flying without Terra. Um, you can just give it like the Choice Band, just how you do things. And now it does have the Intimidate issue, which is not great, but you can kind of play around that. Um, you can give it the Choice Band. And the Choice Band, even at minus one, is still going to be knocking things out. It can be faked out, which is a little bit worse than Dragonite. So it's kind of like pick your poison there. There are a lot of situations where it's like maybe you just put Dragonite on the team um, and save the restricted spot for someone else, especially in like a single restricted. You know what? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, in the context of single restricted, I just don't see why you waste the spot on Rayquaza when you can use a better one and um, and just use Dragonite instead. Unless you just want to have fun with Rayquaza because it's a good mind. Like if you just look at like it's pure power level, I think it's like a B. But I think in the context, it's probably this. Um... The Dialga forms, so the Dialga origin is going to be in B, and this one is going to be in C. And obviously, you probably think, oh, they're the same Pokemon. But like the origin form, and this is uh, is it kind of just objectively better um, if you look at it here. So, like, this is Dialga's, uh, the one we were used to. Like, you see its stat distribution uh, 680 base stats, it has that 120 attack stat, which is never really using 90 speed, 120 speed def. So, just by the nature of them having like all the same moves, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and the same like abilities and everything, same typing. The fact that the 20 got moved into death, it makes it bulkier. It just kind of just makes it objectively better by the numbers. <laughs> Has the same typing and resistances, but the extra bulk is nicer than the extra attack. So I kind of have to put it higher than that. Um, I could put them in D, in D and C, but I do think like Steel Dragon's pretty good. Um, and I think that bulk is pretty is pretty impressive. 100, 120, 120 is uh is pretty nice. Yeah. So like, and I'm pretty sure, like I said, the yeah the moves don't actually change. They all just learn the same stuff. So back to the list. So I'm gonna put it like this. Um, the problem, I, you know what I'll say though? I gotta drop it. And the reason I have to drop it is because it's even though I think it's it's really solid, um it, it can't be better than Kyogre, can it? It can't be as good as Kyogre. It can't be. It just can't be as good as Kyogre, bro. And then like with like with like this and this threatening this so hard anyway um oh man that's tough let's 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 crank on that i'm doing this for the same reasons um with uh palkia it's kind of the same right the origin has 120 speed instead of 120 attack and this one has 100 speed it's just better to be faster so for that kind of pokemon so uh yeah if you're gonna be 100 you might as well be 120 if you can if you can manage so i'll put it like that the same reason giratina uh, this one's stronger than this one, so I'll put it like this. They both kind of stink. Maybe I should add an F. <laughs> Maybe I should add an F tier to this list. I think these are kind of like the the same here. Like these are kind of useless in this format with uh singles. It's just like don't ever use these as the restricted spot, especially when they have forms that are stronger, right? Um, they have the Kyrem forms which are stronger. Uh, Kyrem kind of stinks too. Uh, <laughs> Kyrem kind of stinks. Um, but Kyrem, like, yeah, like you look at just Kyrem stats. It's good, but like the bulk is uh not as high as the other mons, it's not as fast, and it's not as offensive as some of them, right? And it's wasting that that attacks that bit. 
But like white Chiron is really nice. I think it's really nice. So I think it deserves to be a tear above that 170 base special attack. Um, and like Blitz Spam obviously is a good for a uh, good archetype now. So like it can just run that. So I think it's pretty good. I actually think that Chiron White is probably in the B tier just because I think that Ice is a really good offensive typing. Um, and it gets really enabled by a lot of the format. I think, like I said, weather being good makes it nice. Chiron Black has to go and see though. Um, shout out to my boy, uh, Dong Hun Young. Uh, he played against me with this mon and we discovered that it wants the whole clear amulet and loaded dice um and it can't hold both so if you drop the, the, the loaded dice you end up not always getting your hits from your icicle spear because it doesn't get any decent uh physical ice stab like if you go here i had looked at it prior look at the physical moves on level up uh free shock takes two turns to charge and it can miss right so you need power up for that and it can miss and like who wants to use power up and just get intimidated anyway for your minus one um and over here it just now recently got icicle spear which needs loaded dice to do any real damage you need four hits uh but if you get intimidated then it's kind of like not getting those hits at all and it doesn't even get icicle crash like you might as well just kind of use use back's caliber in that spot and save your restricted for something else um but i can still say it's probably like better than the pokemon here because it's like a dragon dancer and if you're not intimidated you get that plus one and then you get those icicle spears off you kind of start sweeping through teams so i can give it that kind of like concession um but that's all it really has uh cosmoam cosmog whichever one is which they both stink um so Galeo, i'm gonna put in c i think it's better than c to be honest but i just haven't seen anything from it yet and i don't predict that it's worth your single restricted spot when there are like objectively better choices right um just like there's so much better choices i think even like like clear body is a, or full metal body whatever it's called or heavy well i don't know what the ability is called i just know it does the same thing as clear body <laughs> shout out to my friends point out that to me that it has a different ability that does the same thing i thought it was just always clear body um i think maybe c is okay for it just because like i think that um these ones are better so i can't put it any higher just by the virtue of that i think it's a solid pokemon and like c doesn't mean like you can't use it at all um but you know what that makes me also feel like it's better than it's probably better than this so this probably also has to go down um and it's probably better than these but these are better than these in my opinion right because I, I don't want to put them in the same tier as pokemon that they're objectively better than so i'll put this up i'll drop this down just because i think that this is just way better than both giratina so i have to drop giratina down lunala is really nice um i think yeah if lunala is really nice i'm gonna leave it in c uh again because it is a single restricted thing so i think that you have to take it in context of what's above it um, but the C, I think you're still like a good Pokemon. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to add a little editing magic. I'm going to add the F tier because I think we actually need it. All right. So as you can see through the power of editing magic, I have changed this around a little bit. Um, I dropped these down to D. I was like, hold on with the four times resist and also being intimidate bait. Um, Sacred Fire and Brave Bird is really nice, but I wanted to move it down because I do think Rayquaza is more aggro. I think this is better. I think these are both better than that. I think these are kind of just slightly meh versions of these two um slightly better better for these two but these two are kind of just bottom tier for this context unplayable because you can't even use these um necrozma is going into b because i think that with clear amulet and its ability to reduce super effective, super effective damage and terra and dragon dance and dual 100 base power stabs on steel and psychic not to mention it gets like earthquake access and stuff as well um it can take those really big hits super effectively um get up a dragon dance and then start spamming its big moves so i think that's really really good um i think it's objectively better than like everything below it i think it's even better than sogaleo now sogaleo and this would compete for a spot because this one couldn't get intimidated but this one had like the reduced damage but with its bulk and its reduced reduced damage that it takes from super effective moves and with clear amulet i think it's really good i think this also is probably really good um same reasons is that it has terra now uh and it's terra it, 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 its ability reduces super effective damage as well the issue is that it was always just four times weak to dark so it didn't matter that it reduced, reduced super effective damage because it was getting hit by four times uh, effective moves um, by Ghost and Dark. But now you can kind of tear out of that and it actually has really good stats um, and, and really good moves. So I think it's really good. Krozma, F. I won't say it's unplayable, but it's F. Zacian is going to go in the A tier. The reason Zacian is going in A, um, because the nerfs have made it much more fair. I think you have to play it very, very honest now. Um, yeah, I think you have to play this very, very honest uh you have to worry about the intimidate because you have to hold the intrepid sword to get the stat boost 
Um, so if you get intimidated, you, you're back in neutral, which is a really good attack stat, but it's back in neutral and it's 150 instead of 170 now. Uh, not to mention if you switch out, even if you don't get intimidated, when you come back in, you don't hit the Intrepid Sword boost again. So you don't get that boost. So it's very, very fair in that sense now. Single target, no real spread moves. Good coverage, great coverage, great defensive typing, great offensive typing. Um, phenomenal Pokemon. I think it can like make Terra Stellar look good because it has great coverage and that great coverage at the plus one. If you can keep that plus one boost, it's actually gonna do a lot of damage to Pokemon. So when I was looking at these, because I couldn't remember how these uh without the sword ones work, so I was reviewing it. I was tempted to put it in B, but now that I have the B tier here, I do think it's not as good as the ones above it. So I'm gonna put it in C because it's actually still a really good Pokemon. Like I'm actually really tempted to put it in B, and I'll show you why, right? So Zacian's base form is just fairy. Um, obviously fairy steel is like the best typing in the game but fairy is like the best typing in the game like on its own like the best single typing right dropping the steel typing is not the worst thing in the world either because now you don't take neutral from like collision course you take resisted damage um you don't take super effective from precipice blade you take neutral damage you know um you don't resist steel which is a big drawback uh but you still get intrepid sword for example right but you know what you can do you don't have to hold the sword you can hold recovery. You can hold a uh, super effective berry item. You can hold clear amulet. You can hold choice band. Like you can hold so many other things. And like, if you look at like the stat distribution, um, it's just like the speed in the offense, right? It's still pretty fast. Like 138 is still faster than um, all the base 135. So you're not losing anything there. Um, it's 120 base attack is still pretty good. Um, not 150 obviously, but still pretty good. Plus with the item you can hold. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a solid mon still. And the bulk doesn't change. 92, 115, 115 uh so i'm really tempted to put it in b but i don't think anyone's ever going to like use it as their single slot so i'm gonna put it in c uh <laughs> zamazenta is gonna go in a now i think it's um it, I, like so on its surface like on turn one i don't think it's as good as zacian but like i think that iron defense and starting at plus one defense and then getting to plus three defense after a single iron defense with this incredible bulk is actually pretty insane um and then body press is actually an insane move that can't be intimidated the way zacian can now so i think that alone deserves to put it right in the same class as Ossian, right? Uh, look at like its stats. Um, fighting Steel is not as good as Fairy Steel, obviously, but it's still really strong, like offensively, you hit a lot of things. Um, it still has a ton of resistances and um, it has the immunity, it has four times resist, and its stats are great, right? It's not as fast, but it's still very fast. Amazing bulk, 92, 140, 140 is phenomenal. Um, body presses off this stat at plus one are insane. Um, like I said, in, in with this, even if you lose the attack, it's bulky enough to come back in, Click Iron Defense again, get your uh get get your boost back. So it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and I actually wanted to do something with like Zamazenta base for the same reason. I'm gonna put it in C though, because uh it has the same things as the other one, right? It doesn't have the steel typing, which loses a lot of the resistances. Um, but you also lose some weaknesses, right? You're no longer weak to ground and fire. And your speed actually goes up, which is kind of interesting. Maybe like his weightless trick of his weight, so he's <laughs> his training. Um, it is a little bit less bulky. Uh, but you can hold an item. You can hold a recovery item. So maybe you get iron defense body press leftovers. You could do some cool stuff with it. So I think it's like a C tier mod. Um, just based off that, it's just without even without the item is better than the stuff below them. Eternatus, Eternatus, or Eternatus, however you like to say it, it's better than these. So it has to be at least this. I don't. I think it's worse than these Pokemon here. But I think like, and C doesn't mean like bad, right? It's just me like kind of like average kind of fair in a sense um has cosmic power dynamic cabin base 100 stab is going to go a long way versus hitting these dra dragon types that are in the format um and i think it's very very bulky so it can take a lot of hits it's fast as well and it gets like cosmic power i'll even like show you guys um it's bulk like it's not weak to fair but it's weak to ground which is not great but like 145 special attack 140 hp 95 95 is pretty good bulk um, like I said, it does get like a uh, cosmic power to increase his bulk. It's really fast. It outspeeds a lot of things. And like being able to hit fairy types with poison and dragon type of dragon is really nice. So I think it's uh, about a fair and average C tier kind of Pokemon. Calyrex Ice, my dog, is going in A. Calyrex Ice is really, really strong. Really, really bulky. Um, Terra is great for it and Claremont is great for it. The same way it's been great for Groudon. I've been using it. I love this thing. I do think that anything, any, all Trick Room Pokemon are always going to have to take a small step back to their like more aggro counterparts though, just by the nature that they need a turn, right? Um, they always need that one turn. And like, there are so many mitigate mitigations to stopping Trick Room 
that I think stops it from being an S tier for me personally, even though it's like my favorite restraint on the whole list. And it's probably going to be one that I'm going to frequent the most um, because I don't mind that it takes the turn. I don't care. That's my dog. <laughs> but it does take that turn to set up. Um, you do. You are kind of forced to reclaim it. Claim it is a great item. You maybe don't. You don't want another kind of item, right? But you are forced to wear it um, to keep you from being intimidated, especially because Incinero resists your stabs, um, both your stabs, even though you don't really run psychic stab on this because it doesn't get any great psychic moves. But Incinero resists both your stabs and intimidates you, so you kind of have to have clear on it. Um, you are fake outable uh, because you're uh, not a ghost type like the other one. Um, you can be taunted so your trick room doesn't go up. Um, like there, there's there's so many there's so much more counterplay than this than there is to this. Um, like if you want to use a horse. I kind of just recommend using the other one. Unless you're me, of course, because I just like the ice horse. Um, Calorie Shadow is definitely an S tier mod. Um, if it was ordered, I'd be even considered it putting it like first. I just think it's just way too strong. Um, Asher Barrage is un un unresistible in my opinion. Like you were like, oh, you can resist it with dark types. Dark types don't want to take that a couple times in a row. Um, <laughs> especially the dark types you have access to. Like Incineroar can take it, but like uh what's it called? Um, Urshifu doesn't really want to take two or three of those because it's going to die because this is going to get a plus one um, by killing the partner and then it's going to kill the Urshifu. Terra has made this thing unstoppable. Um, you can Terra Ghost for more damage if you want. You can Terra Fairy to drop the weaknesses to Dark. You can Terra Normal to drop the weakness to Ghost. You can Terra Grass if you want and click Leaf Storm. And it, like, it's like the most versatile Pokemon on the list. Like with this, you're going to run one of two sets. This is probably going to run like one of two sets like Volt Switch, Electro Drift, dragon move fairy move or pivot um no no he has the pivot so like protect or fairy move maybe overheat if you want this is gonna run like uh fighting move most likely collision course um flare blitz most likely maybe you turn and then protect or a dragon move this is gonna run actual barrage right and then and it's gonna most likely run a psychic move but doesn't really need to but it's probably gonna run a psychic move and then your last two slots you can do whatever you want with right you can run protect nasty plot you can run a third coverage move protect or a third coverage move nasty plot. You can run a pollen puff. You can run will o wisp. You can run trick room. You can run in prison. Like, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it gets in prison. Like it gets so many moves. Um, as you can just do a lot of versatile things with it. You can run will o wisp, burn stuff, click Terra to defend, and then all of a sudden your thing is just getting to click Astro Watch for free because there's no way to, to get it off the field because it's burned you and it's clicked the defensive Terra into your Dark Urshifu. fool. So now what you gonna do, son? And it broke your sash and it broke your sash. Um, it can run draining kiss to take advantage of like nasty plot draining kiss if it wants to do that. Or it, it just gets the plus one from uh, killing something with actual barrage. And then it gets to click draining kiss with Terra stab and plus one. Like it's just insane. And it doesn't make sense that that Pokemon is so strong. Even Calyrex had to take a nerf to its um attacks base power. This thing got, got left untouched and it won like the world championships. I'm pretty sure I have to double check that. But it did win internet in Sword and Shield, uh, North, the North American International uh, Championships. Shout out to James Evans. I'm pretty sure he won it with that. Um, and like this in Groudon. So yeah, that was um that, that Pokemon is insane. Um, base Cataracts unplayable. Anyway, question of the day: Which restricted is being overlooked? Um, hopefully I said that in the intro and I didn't forget. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Whatever. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the list. What would you move around? What would you move up? What would you move down? Uh, which Pokemon are too high? Which are too low? Uh, which Pokemon you most have to try? Uh, subscribe if you're new here. Join a member. Join to become a member today. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.